guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and welcome to episode two of House Hunting. Today, I'd love to introduce you to the Rollins family. Now, this family is, well, let me tell you a little bit about them. We'll start off with the mom. Her name is Rochelle. She's the one who just dove into the pool, and yes, she's wearing a long sleeve shirt in the pool. Don't ask. <laughs> um, basically, she is a report processor, so she's in the business career, and she's actually a workaholic. But her lifetime wish is to live in the lap of luxury, and of course that makes sense because in order to do that, she's going to have to work a lot and make those simoleons. Now she's a bit snobby, but it's okay because she's a really good mom to Shane and Marissa. Now the dad is Hunter, and it looks like Hunter and Rochelle are having a little holding their breath contest. I don't know, let's see who wins. <laughs> Oh, Rochelle won. Of course she did. Of course she did. Anyways, Hunter is a lab tech and he's in the science career. He is absent-minded, which I don't know how that works too well with his science career. I mean, maybe he has some horrible experiments going wrong. I don't know. Maybe it works to his advantage. <laughs> and he could sometimes be inappropriate, but hey, who isn't? Who isn't? So uh, this is Marissa. She's a bit of a loner, but she does love the outdoors and she especially loves to go fishing. So here she is just sitting at the dining room table working on a bit of homework. Pretty much a usual day for her. She comes home from school, does her homework, and then does whatever she wants. Next up is her brother, Shane. Shane's the big brother. He is much like his dad in the sense that he is absent-minded and inappropriate. I guess those traits got passed on to him, but he actually loves the cold and he would probably enjoy some sort of water sports though, like surfing and beach volleyball, but his main aspiration in life is to be a rock star. Now, the reason I was talking about him maybe liking water sports or surfing or beach volleyball is because the Rollins family is actually in search of their perfect beach home. That's right. They're not moving. They just want a beach home so they can spend some time with each other. Both parents make pretty good money, so they can definitely afford it. They currently have a nice house with a large pool, but it's it's pretty far from the beach. They prefer somewhere where they can just get away from home and the kids can actually spend time together instead of going off and doing their own thing. And the family really doesn't get a chance to bond. Mom is a workaholic, so she's not home a lot. And like I said, the kids kind of do their own thing. They do have a bit of an age gap, which is probably why. But I don't know. Mom and, Mom and dad definitely want a beach house so the kids can bond, so the family can bond. And so that they have somewhere to go and escape on the weekends or on family vacations and such. So basically, we're going to show the family two different houses, and then they will decide which one works best for their needs. They do have a 100000 simoleon budget, but if the house they choose comes under budget, anything left over can be used for furnishing or renovations. And that brings us to their wish list. Number one on the wish list, something they are not willing to waver on, is they need to be close to the beach. Their second wish is for two to three bedrooms. Of course, two bedrooms would mean that Shane and Marissa have to share a room. Of course, the parents don't mind, but if you ask Shane, he minds. <laughs> so three bedrooms is preferable. Of course, they want an outdoor area, and they definitely definitely need a, a small office so that Rochelle can do her work from home. I mean, she is a workaholic. Even if they are on vacation or taking a little weekend off, she's still going to have some work she needs to get done. So a small office or work area would be perfect for her. So let's see. Let's see what options we have. Now that brings us to house number one. House number one is a two bedroom, three bathroom home. It is pretty close to the beach, but not exactly on the beach. And it is listed for 68,334 simoleons. It is fully furnished, as you can see from the living room here. And off to the left, there is a tiny study area. It's not technically a separate office, but there is a desk and a laptop. So Rochelle could definitely do her work here, although she'll probably bring her laptop from home. Let's face it, she'll definitely need some of her files. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, there's a little reading course. Corner. Now, through this archway it takes us to the very good size kitchen. We have a table and chairs, some fun wallpaper, which I personally like, but I'm not sure if Rochelle's going to love it. <laughs> um, and she does like to cook, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see what she thinks. I think it's really cute. Definitely a spacious kitchen, lots of room to work in. And now we're going to go back through the living room and check out a couple of the bedrooms. Well, I guess both of the bedrooms because there's only two of them. And over here on this little corner, it's just a cute little side table with a mirror, just a little bit of decoration to make the, the beach house feel a bit more homey. 
and we're going to go straight ahead into the first bedroom, which is the master bedroom. Now this one is very spacious and cozy. There's warmer tone colors in here, so it doesn't necessarily give off the beach vibe, but it's definitely something that I think Rochelle will like. Definitely classy and up her alley. And the master bedroom does have its own private ensuite, which of course is a plus, a plus for Rochelle. I'm sure Hunter will appreciate that too, but she definitely would like a bathroom so that she can get ready and not have to worry about the kids being in there at the same time. Which actually brings us to the second bedroom. Again, this house only has two bedrooms, so Shane and Marissa would have to share that one. There's two double beds, though. They should be fine. Not a big deal. Now, the store is going to take us back out through the kitchen and out the back door, which is going to be our amazing backyard. I really love this backyard. I think the family would enjoy it. There's lots for them to do. We have a barbecue grill and picnic table, plenty of room for outdoor cooking and entertaining, plenty of seating under all of these luscious, beautiful trees. So there's lots of privacy and lots of shade, which is great in the summertime. And there's actually an outdoor bathroom attached to the house. Well, it's not technically outdoor, but it's a small little bathroom that they can use to clean off at after a day at the beach so they don't have to track all that sand and mud into the house. And over here is the other side of the backyard. We have a beautiful swing set and a great cozy area with some more seating and a fire pit. Great place to have bonfires or enjoy, enjoy a family meal together. There's these beautiful tiki torches all around to really give you some extra lighting at night and add to that warm, cozy feeling. And the property is completely fenced in. However, there is a set of gates that they can go through to get to this beautiful, beautiful hilltop view. Now, the only problem is they can't exactly walk straight to the beach, but they still have a gorgeous view and they could drive there in just minutes. Now here's the floor plan of the home and as you can see the two bedrooms are all the way in the back on the right which again it's it, it fits their requirements they do prefer to have three but I think this house is just so cute and so cozy and so close to the beach that they might be willing to make an exception and of course it does have the small home office area for Rochelle and plenty of bathrooms for the family and this house comes in well under budget at only 68,000 simoleons they could definitely add a third bedroom if they want possibly even a second floor and maybe even a hot tub they they can definitely definitely use that extra budget to spruce this place up a bit I think this would make a great home for them, but we'll let them think on that and go ahead and check in on house number two. Here we are at house number two. House number two is a little bit more of a modern setup, and it's definitely closer to the beach. We'll get to the yard in a minute, but... It is literally steps from the beach, which you will see very soon. Now, it is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home, and it is listed at 76,667 simoleons. So here we are at the living room. This living room has these beautiful minty pastel colors, plenty of seating, and a little fireplace for those nights that just get a little bit too chilly. Here's the small kitchen. It is very small, but very functional. There is a separate dining area. It isn't completely closed off or separate, but it does have its own little nook and those beautiful glass windows that look out into the backyard. Over on the other side of the kitchen, we have a bookshelf and a cute little side table. They can sit down and have breakfast there or they can sit at the breakfast bar and they can enjoy their dinners at that dining room table. Now this is the master bedroom. The reason that this house is only listed at 76,000 simoleons is because the bedrooms come completely unfurnished. So they will definitely have to come up with some money from the budget to use to furnish the bedrooms and sell a closet area and all of that. And this master bedroom does have its own ensuite. It is sort of small, but very functional. We have the sink, a toilet, and a beautiful bathtub. I love how the closet is separated between the bedroom and the bathroom. It just makes it a little bit more intimate. Now we're going to go ahead and walk back towards the other side of the house. You can get another peek at the living room here on the left. And we also have a very nice peek of the fountain on the left, which we'll see when we go outside. Uh, on the right-hand side is a small office, very cozy, has everything that Rochelle would need. There is a beautiful desktop computer in here and a bookshelf so she can store anything, any files that she needs to. And now we're coming into the first of the two side bedrooms. Of course, we just saw the master. So one of these would be for Marissa and the other would be for Shane. In between the two bedrooms, there is a separate bathroom for Shane and Marissa. And behind that door way back there is the toilet. It has its own separate room. 
And here's a peek at the third bedroom, which would again be for Shane or Marissa. Now let's head outside. As soon as we come outside, we have, first of all, a gorgeous view of the ocean. Second of all, we have an amazing little fire pit and a buffet table. This is perfect for entertaining. Over on this side, we have a beautiful fountain area. It is very zen and relaxing, and there's even a little rock garden built into the fountain. Love that touch. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And here are another set of double doors to the left that go into the living room. Of course, this house comes with a big, beautiful pool. The family loves to swim, so that's definitely going to be something they can all enjoy. It also has an outdoor kitchen, so Hunter or Rochelle can cook up a nice meal for the kids. There's an extra sink out here and a barbecue grill and, of course, more seating. And this door actually comes out from the master bedroom and leads out to the two beautiful lounge chairs and that beautiful pool that literally, literally steps away from the ocean. If you're in the pool, it almost feels like you are swimming in the ocean. I mean, I don't know how much closer you can get. <laughs> and speaking of swimming in the ocean, they can absolutely do that if they like as well. Steps away from the beach. It doesn't get much closer than that. <laughs> so here's the local beach. They do have their own private entrance. They don't need to drive. They don't need to ride their bikes. They can just literally walk up here. It's an absolutely gorgeous view. I think Shane would have so much fun out here just playing beach volleyball with the family. He can also take up surfing or any other water sports that he might have an interest in. And of course, Marissa can go fishing. So here is a floor plan of house number two. As you can see, it definitely needs some furnishing. It looks very empty and bland right now, but the, the main living parts of the home are all ready to go. We do have that beautiful living room in the middle, and I do like that, that the kids' rooms are separate from the parents' rooms. I think Hunter and Rochelle will really appreciate that. They can get a little bit of privacy from the kids when they need to, but they can all come together in this middle area to bond over dinner or to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather and enjoy the beach. And again, the kitchen is a bit small. I'm not sure if Rochelle is really going to like that, but with that extra outdoor kitchen, she should still be able to have plenty of room to make whatever she wants. She can prepare meals inside and cook them outside and watch the kids play. I think, I think it's a good compromise. And of course, we also have that small office, which is perfect for her to get away and do her work from home, which, you know, she's going to be doing. <laughs> she shouldn't, but she will be. <laughs> and can't forget that gorgeous pool. The family will definitely have to take into consideration that this is closer to the top of their budget. Um, again, that leaves them roughly 24,000 simoleons to take care of furnishing those bedrooms, which seems like it would be enough money, but with Rochelle's high-end taste, she might not have quite enough to create the perfect relaxing bedrooms that she's hoping for. So they're, they're definitely going to have to take that into consideration as well. The family definitely has a tough decision. Let's check in on them and see how they're doing. Looks like mom's busy in the kitchen making the family's favorite meal, goopy carbonara. Now everyone's still off doing their own thing, but hopefully she can get everyone to sit down for a nice family dinner. That way they can discuss which house they like best. Looks like dinner's almost ready. Let's check in on the other family members and see what they're up to. Here's Hunter, the father. It looks like he is on the internet chatting away. He probably should be in the kitchen helping out Rochelle, but she does love to cook, so she's going to take over this one. He can go ahead and have some fun on the computer. And let's check in on Marissa. Of course, she does love the outdoors, so she is out here swimming all alone, just practicing and paddling away. <laughs> looks like she's having fun all by herself. And here's Shane. He's not playing video games this time. Looks like he's watching one of his favorite TV shows. But again, he's uh, he's definitely spending his time alone. He could be helping mom out in the kitchen or swimming with his little sister. But instead, everyone everyone just decides to take their their own time and do their own thing. But mom did convince everyone to sit down to a nice family dinner so they can discuss which house they're going to choose. That goopy carbonara looks amazing. I'm getting hungry just watching them. <laughs> All right, so the family is enjoying their meal and discussing the pros and cons of each house. I think dad has a clear favorite. He likes house number one. Definitely more of a cozy, intimate atmosphere that he's looking for. However, Rochelle and her expensive taste likes the house number two, the more modern beach house. And the kids, the kids don't really care. They'd be happy with either one. 
I wonder which house they're gonna choose. Time for the big reveal. Which house do you think they chose? House number one or house number two? The family chose house number two. Looks like Rochelle won that argument. She definitely beat out Hunter and his preference, and she got the beautiful modern beach house that she had her eye on. Now, again, this house came in at 76,667 simoleons, so they're going to have roughly a twenty three dollars to $24,000 budget to go ahead and get those three bedrooms completely furnished and ready for move-in. Let's go ahead and get this house moving ready for the Rollins family. So we are going to start off with one of the two kids' bedrooms. This one would probably be better for Marissa. Since Shane is older, he's going to get priority and get the bedroom closest to the backyard and to the beach. And Marissa's not complaining because she gets to choose every single color and every single furnishing of her brand new beachy bedroom. So she went with some very light colors. Definitely the minty green color on the wall is one of her favorites. She also chose a couple of cute floral lamps. The one on the right definitely just looks like it's flowers, but it is a lamp. It's a really, really cute piece. She also chose these beautiful mirrored feather plaques to go above her bed. They just give that room a little bit of an extra modern touch. And of course, we can't forget her dresser, pastel purple, another one of her favorite colors. And she chose this beautiful ornate, silver mirror. We're going to give her a few little extra touches with some perfume and a gorgeous mermaid statue because you can't be on the beach without a gorgeous mermaid statue. Am I right? <laughs> she also has a little bit of seating, a little two-seater couch, and an extra lamp for reading or winding down from the night. And then she also has extra hanging storage so she can bring her backpack, any homework if they're there in a quick weekend trip, and hang her cute little bathrobe. And she also has an extra little chair off to the side and a beautiful butterfly rug right underneath the bed. Now we're moving on to Shane's room and of course he is very excited to pick out the colors and theme of his bedroom. He isn't quite as fond of the modern look that the family is so his room's going to be a little bit more on the traditional side. He definitely likes these darker colors and more of wood tones than metal tones. So, so he has a nice wooden dresser to match and a beautiful mirror on top. We're also going to give Shane some extra seating in here in case he wants to bring any friends to crash with him or to spend some time during their vacation together. And, and also throwing in a couple of bookshelves. Right above his bed, he has a beautiful piece of wall art with someone fishing. Now, Marissa is the angler of the family, but Shane does enjoy fishing as well. And that brings us to the cute little fish bowl next to his bedside as well. He can definitely stock that with a pet goldfish, which he will, of course, have to bring home with him when vacation is over. <laughs> All right, let's move on to mom and dad's room. So we'll start off here in the closet. We're going to give mom and dad their own separate dressers because Rochelle definitely has a lot of clothes and she's going to want to pack and bring a lot with her and leave some here too as well. And she also chose that same beautiful silver metal mirror that Marissa chose in her bedroom. And dad's side has a cow plant, which is pretty cool if you ask me, and a couple of candles. Now we're on to the main part of the master bedroom. So they chose this very comfortable double bed and very sleek side tables with the metal and glass finishing. They want to keep it a bit more relaxed and cozy in here. So Marissa chose... So Marissa also chose some candle lighting for this room as well, and she's adding a little bench right in front of the bed so she can sit down and get ready in the morning or, or sit and read before bed. And of course, throwing in some greenery in here as well to liven up the space a bit. And directly across from her bed, we're going to put a beautiful piece of wall art to liven up the room. And then we're adding this luxurious peach and orange colored carpet underneath the bed for some extra comfort. All done. Let's get the Rollins family moved into their brand new beach home and we'll check in on them once they're settled in. I really think they're going to like this one. Looks like the family is settled in. They sent us some home footage so we could check in and see how they're doing. Their house is absolutely perfect. The entire family could not be happier with this beautiful modern beach home. And looks like Rochelle's taking a break from cooking while Hunter whips up some awesome hot dogs. <laughs> 
The family is sitting and relaxing and chatting away, waiting for their meal. This is definitely some great bonding time for the family. They're actually excited to sit down together and and chat and get to know each other a little bit better. And they're discussing what fun activities they have in store for the rest of the day here at the beach. Marissa can't wait to get out there and see what type of fish she can catch. Rochelle's even taking the evening off so she can enjoy some time with the family. No working for this workaholic today. So here's the family enjoying the beautiful view and enjoying the beautiful beach. We have Hunter and Rochelle and Shane going in for a dip while Marissa is taking advantage of this opportunity to fish. I hope she catches something big, but either way, she is definitely having a good time out here. Looks like Hunter is sneaking up on Rochelle to get in a little splash. (laughs) Oh, they're so cute. And now it's later in the evening. They're all cozying up to the warm fire to tell ghost stories and roast marshmallows and just enjoy their time together. Looks like everyone's happy. Here comes Marissa. Looks like she didn't catch any fish today, but that's okay. There's always tomorrow. Uh Uh-oh, looks like mom and dad surprise attacked the kids with some water balloons. They're going to have to get them back tomorrow. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed meeting the Rollins family. They are so happy in their new beach home, and I'm so happy I was able to find the perfect home for them. If you know a Sims family looking for a home, you can definitely send them my way. I can't wait to do some more house hunting with you. I do have some questions in the description below if you do want to submit your Sims family. You can just paste your answers in the comments, or you can find me on any of the social medias listed in the description as well. And of course, the Rollins family and both homes featured in this video, including the before and after of the house they chose, will be available for download in my studio. I will have the link in the description below as well. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video, and I will see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.